There it is. All right, y'all. Look, I know. Been got down. I done made shorts about this video and everything long before I even got my hands on it. I know y'all don't see it too clear. Let me fix that shit for you. Glock 43X. This is the this is the top of the top when it comes to one of the 9mm compacts. Look at that dog. Big as hell too. Oh god. As y'all see, this one we got 10 rounds. I couldn't get the shield arms extension for y'all as of now. We're gonna get that in the future. And with the hollow tips that we also gonna be tested that we uh made a self rain I mean self well homemade range. You know what I'm saying? We got two of them. Not only that, we also got an extra um, RIP of the 380 round. My boy got on store. But as y'all see, 10 rounds. Yeah, and I'm gonna compare it to the size of what I typically carry, which is a burst of thunder plus, and that's a 380. Is one. But as y'all see, this is a burst of thunder 380, and y'all know this is short. As y'all probably seen in my previous shorts, this is the one that I could carry. Hey, you know, keep watching for me. I don't give a fuck. This is the one that I could carry inside of my shorts at work. You know what I'm saying? This is the one that I could damn near bring anywhere. I could put it in my jacket pocket when I want to go outside and chill and don't have to worry about it going off on me. You know, um, not only that, as y'all do know, since it's double single action, it's a 12 pound trigger pull that basically um, allows me to carry it a lot of times without even a holster. Even when like uh, wrestling or fighting or having like small altercations, which I've had personally before. Also, wind advised, but we're gonna put them right next to each other just for a size comparison. You got something about the size of a. Uh, it, it's, it's only thicker than the three, uh, 380, as y'all see right there. You know what I'm saying? And as he's showing right now, too, this is the Burst of Thunder Plus. These two also right next to each other, damn near same length. And but this one is a two-in-one package as I may have to switch for capacity to feel safer to go out around You could simply buy a 15 round mag for it that goes into the same 10 plus one setup of the Glock 43X And the Glock 43X just like most of them come optic ready. We're gonna try to reset They known to have like triggers, but if y'all do notice it right there, it has a dual trigger which, you know, uh, a second trigger. I may just show a picture to edit in there. It's uh, having problems with the camera. I know y'all see enough of it, though. It's in there. But after you reset it, we're going to test it out. Real life. Well, in my opinion. After you get, like, a grip on that dual trigger that's right in between, it's pretty much easy from there. It's obviously, it's straight up against the wall, which is the resistance, you know, uh, that the trigger gives when it's time to pull back. You get a full-size grip. Like I said, you, all you have to do is simply have to switch out the mag size. And not only that, the 15-round mags also don't make it any bigger. And it's about the size of both of the 380s. This is one of the best options you could get in terms of 9mm overall for personal self-protection. My fault, y'all. I can't stop fucking with it. This nigga addicted to it, too. Y'all gonna see him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sights on there. Three dot. There it is. Yep. Three dot sight. Y'all can't see the front. I'm not gonna be fucking around with this focus all day. I fuck with y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What nigga ain't finna do that? Nigga, hair's already ashy. Shit clean, though. Real smooth. Like I said, I'll compare it next to a Burst of Thunder 380. You know, um, of course the you know the holes may be a little bit different. The 380 is just a shorter nine millimeter, but overall, slightly thicker, lighter, could potentially hold more capacity if you wish, and is nine millimeter. Got durable, long-lasting uh, material. The plastic uh, prevents it from rusting and overall rust issues, which I have to worry about with both of my bursas, and small and clean as fuck. You know. I know a lot of y'all niggas want this to flex to your homie, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know I think it'll be loving like that for the Glock, but overall, based off of what I've seen, especially just the fact that I could still get that full size grip and increase this capacity without overall having to do much, it, to me this is already a win, and it's thin as fuck in my hand. I'm gonna, once again, you, you see that right there in my hand is not overall taking up too much space. I'm uh... Once again, it, it, it ain't, it's only slightly, slightly, like, only slightly, somewhat thicker. Somewhat. With a way lighter trigger. Shit. 
you already done seen the reset and all that shit. We about to actually go out there and try it. Three dot side, like I said, if there's anything I feel like I miss over this little small review, you know, let me know in the comment section. All right, aim from behind the tree. Let me see what you made. Shoot a um, aim as if you know the tree was your cover. Second. Aim as if the uh, tree was your cover. There it is. All right, that's a little bit better. There's not one in the chamber, right? No. Nope. Okay, yes, I'm gonna walk in front of you. Really? Yeah, get used to the trigger. Yeah, just pull it real quick. Low key, a little nervous. Nah, good. <laughs> you I, ain't know never, I ain't never did this at all before, never. But that's exactly, you know, um, when I was coming out so here. When I hit pow, 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 I'm going to come over here and just foul his ass. Yeah, but I also want you to, um, what's the name, you know, act like if it's real. So if you're shooting from over here and you yeah, see. That's why I said I'm nervous. Yeah. No, nah, that's good. I prefer you to be. Okay. Y'all, as of right now, testing him. We're going to see um, how well can he uh, shoot from behind cover and also how well can he use cover. As of right now, you know, he's a little bit new. Like a uh, shoulder a little bit exposed. Tuck it in if you can. That's a little bit better. Do you feel comfortable in that position? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, me, I personally use my elbow to lean up against the tree. Did that help? That helps? You know what I'm saying? Okay, and now hey, if I, once I show you in this video, it's it's not too much of you showing. You're gonna shoot like that, and then we're gonna um, now we're gonna practice aiming uh, over here on the left. Too much of you exposed. You feel like you can shoot it from right there? Okay, yep, that's even better. It, it is what it is. I'd advise you, um, you know, I could switch it to hand. So, like, when you switch to the right, switch to the right hand. If you switch to the left, you know, just uh, push it over into the left hand. Yeah, not, um, just to be clear, yeah, don't shoot with the uh, left hand. Um, shit. I'm, I want to try to get used to, like, two, three shots, like, with standing type shit, so I can get a feel of it. Because remember, I told you I break it in. For sure. No, that's even, I'm glad you told me that. All right, for sure. But yeah, you could just practice a couple more times. Okay, so you ready? Uh, yeah, you didn't put one in the chamber, right? Yeah, I'm finna let it off three times. I'm finna try to one, two, three. Oh, okay. But if you do, um, since it's your first time, once again, go slowly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, yeah, let me be behind you, though. We're gonna start off on the right. Yeah, you put one in the chamber. Don't get, don't shoot. Uh, just line it up first, the sights and all. Um, uh, you know, lean on the tree and all, all that that you did previously. And I'm about to say, I'm fixing it. You ready? <laughs> you got the sights aligned? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, shit, I don't got the headphones on. Oh. <laughs> ready? Three, two, one. Let's see if you made it. <laughs> sights was aligned? Yeah. You was aiming for this one? Yeah. I don't think I hit nothing. I'm comfortable. You fuck with it? All right, let me think get I should let off too? Um, not as of right now. I'll try, I'll advise that for the closer one first. Yeah, I was just saying, the close, if I do that, I gotta go to the closer one. Yeah. Uh, let but me, I'm gonna, um, do one. I'm gonna just do one. Let me show you, let me show them the grip. Yeah, let's just show him how to do a new grip. Yup. Yep, finger, finger rest. Got that sled at the bottom of the barrel. You was right. Yep, just like that. Like he said, comfortable as hell. This one should help. And then, um, which um, which one's your strong foot? Yeah, but I put I that. My left foot. Nah, my left foot is strong because I can carry that for fact. Okay, yeah, for sure. So no, yeah. I'm on, I'm on my pivot. This is my pivot. Yeah, I put my strong foot in the back. Damn, you hit that one right there. I want. I'm. I want to help. The one in the middle. Yeah, you, I'm gonna try after. Right there. I'm gonna try after you too. You, but um, so we done doing the one in the middle, right? Not one there. Okay, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do one more shot over here with a different grip. We're gonna see what's the difference. Take your time, shit. If you gotta do that Call of Duty shit and hold your breath, yeah. go ahead. 43x. Yup. Countdown. Three, two, 
one. Hit eight. Yo, he made it. One, one difference. One difference. All he had to do was hold. All he did was switch up the change, and he made it. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? Like I said. Like I said. I already fucking knew. Three, two. Yeah, go ahead. Glock. Yep. Forty-three. Ten yards. Three, two. One. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Am I tripping? That's what I'm saying. I don't what know. the fuck? Uh, did you hold it the same way? Yeah. Mm. We're ready. Ten yards. One in the chamber. Racked up. Three. Two. One. Better check it out. Oh shit. Did it? Nope. Okay, I don't know what the hell going on. No, it's me. It's not it's not it's not the gun or this, it's me, because I seen it hit over here. Like I said, practicing from a lean position. This one a little around ten yards. You you got the sights aligned? Yep. I'm about to do the countdown. Three, two, one. Let's try it out, I think. Nope. Eh, recoil. Shit, once again, at least you know if a motherfucker close he did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. But I still want to work on it. Y'all, Burst of Thunder 380, Walter PP Clang Clone. You know what I'm saying? James Bond, well, based off of the James Bond model in terms of design. Matter of fact, the person who made the gun was uh, also used to work at Walter, which is the same brand of gun that James Bond made. We about to do five to seven yards with a RIP round of 380. And three, two, one. Let's see. Oh, no, I made it. You yeah, seen it. You see what I'm saying? 3-8, boy. Boy, that's why I fuck with that boy. That less recoil is going to be a fucking lifesaver, boy. Especially with that fatter grip. You know what I'm saying? Clean motherfucker, too. You know <laughs> You want to try one more? Oh, we can. You want me? Yeah, go ahead. We try one more. Oh, you ready? Yeah. 3-2... Oh shit, my bad. You good. Three, two, one. This one a full metal jacket. God damn. Next shot, close as fuck to the head. Second second time only shooting it. You know what I'm saying? Clean motherfucker. This that bitch. This that bitch. Beautiful. This that bitch. Five to seven Yeah, second time only shooting it. Five to seven yards. 